Hello everyone, it's Dempsey here, or Dempsey, uh, Dempsey 451, uh, whatever else you want to call me, uh, the beep, the beep beep, the beep beep beep, or the beep beep, um, I've promised I've made this video for a little while now and I've not got around to it, but here we're going to make it, it's going to be hopefully short and sweet, and uh, I'll show you how to, uh, how I get the screenshots, it's not a how I make the screenshots or anything. Or like an expert guide. Because I am not an expert at screenshots. There's people out there who do them way better than I do. Uh, and mainly I personally just think it's just the angles I get. And uh, if I could show you how to get the angles. You can make your own amazing screenshots as well. So what I've done. We've jumped in a top split IMSA. Just to watch. Just to spectate. And um, we're going to get a couple of screenshots. And I'll show you how I get them, basically, and show you what tool. It's basically just one tool that I use. And I'll uh, show you how to use it and uh, how we, I get the screenshots, especially when you get in the higher resolutions, like the 8K ones. Mainly, I do 8K now. I did 4K and then 8K. I mean, mainly, I did 8K just because it gives you span to do stuff with it. You could zoom right into the image. Marcus! Uh... You can zoom right into it and uh, it's not pixelated and you can cut bits out. So what we'll do, so we've got the Mila car, so these are all the super alien people. And what we'll do, what I normally do, is pause it. Right, we'll find a shot. So coming around this corner here, we've got a Merc right behind us. So here's a little tip. I know someone mentioned it, I think it was Fisher who mentioned it. They try to get screenshots and they look blurry in like some of the cameras so like this one you can see as pause it even the car we're focusing on doesn't look crystal clear and obviously the merc behind is a fuzzy mess but this is because it's in tv mode so best mode to go in is in your far chase so jump into your far chase or chase or rear chase what are the static cams on what's stuck on the car so once you've got one of these static cams on your car, so normally what I do is leave one of the cameras alone. So I'll leave Chase and play with Far Chase. So when I want to move the picture on, I've still got a camera in the correct position so I can tell what's happening. Otherwise, you end up with cameras all over the place and you try and see what's happening and you can't tell what's happening. So what we'll do, we'll go into camera options, which is Control F12. And you've got all this to play with now. So now... Is about getting the correct angle. Now, my theory, I don't know if it works. The angles I get are from basically, I've loaded up a website, is real life. So, obviously, a cameraman, a cameraman can't be stood here because he'd die. You die at some point, especially on iRacing with some of the lines that some people take. So I go to where a cameraman would be stood. Oh, hello. So obviously not like I can't go beyond this barrier, but I go to the far reach of the track. So now this is where you can choose your zoom. So you've got your field of view zoom, which is the field of view. But then you've got the normal zoom. Now, this is the one I prefer because it just it gives it more depth. I don't know whether depth... See, I'm no photography expert or anything like that, but I just feel that the... And when I come out with terms like depth and living and stuff like that, that's just my opinion. I'm not a photography expert, so don't don't quote me on any... Oh, the aperture of this one is uh, 0 0.9 degrees Celsius and Fahrenheit with uh, a degree of nipple to the left. Great photography. No, I, I, I ain't got a clue. Uh, real life photography, I couldn't take a picture of something st stood still, let alone a moving car. So, right, enough of that. So we've got this, uh, the Mila car of Felix here. So what we'll do, so we'll get us angle. Now, I like low down shots. I don't know if you've noticed, but I do get a lot of low down shots. So there is... A group of cars now i want to get a few cars in the background so we'll move the camera around a bit so we can we can see he's being chased you want to tell a story with the photo or the screenshot all this sounds really cheesy and cliche 
but that's what you want to do. So now we've got us cars in the background. It's about there, I'd say. Now we want to add some motion blur. Now, sometimes you'll move this slider and nothing will happen. That's because you'll need to go one frame forward and it'll add it in. Now, if I go one frame back, oh, it's still staying in. No, sometimes when you go one frame, oh, there you go. So I've gone one frame black, back and you can see in the background the trees and there's still a bit of motion blur, but it's not as strong as what it was. But if I go forward, boosh. Now look at the background. All the trees have gone blurry. So that one frame forward adds the motion blur back in at its full extent and also the particles. So if you, if we, I think he cut the grass. Did he cut the grass? I don't know. Uh, but it, it's the same for the particles. So if the, you want particles like sparks or grass or bits of bodywork, uh, like the little, little bits what you see flying about, if you go one step, if you go forward and pause it and then you click one frame back or rewind it they all disappear so you need to move forward for them to appear if you get what i mean right so what we'll do now so there's my angle now you can mess about with the focus i do on some cars and i do on uh, do oh and uh so the focus so the focus point the aperture so F, the lower the number, the more your focus point is. I don't know how to describe it. So as you can see, on focus 1.0, it means it's heavily focused on Felix's BMW here. So more of the background's blurred, heavy blurred. Now, if I change that to a higher number, F32, as you can see, Felix's car still in focus, but the rest of the background started to come more in focus and we'll get rid of that so 35 is probably the highest so if we go back to one as you can see more of the backgrounds blurred so you can it's all about playing about with there's no perfect screenshot the screenshot you take will be the one you like the most it, it, it tends to its beauty is in the eye of the beholder so now we've got this bmw in shot uh don't, not mind the focus on that pardon me so what we'll do so now you've got these options up here now having at group this doesn't always work so at group will focus a group of cars so now with a motion blur as you can see the background the mercedes is a slightly bit blurry now at group aim type sh normally Sometimes, not all the time, and maybe I'm doing something wrong, so if someone could help me, it would be very handy, um, should focus these two cars up and make everything else motion blurry apart from these two cars. Now, you can see it's worked a little bit when you have at group. Now, I don't know how iRacing does it, how it selects at group, whether they've all got to be within a certain distance of each other or side by side or anything like that. But as you can see, it's slightly, there's still a little bit of blur on the uh, mert behind. It's not actually that too bad, actually. So as you can see, at group, it selects a group of cars which are very close to each other within your your screenshot. So you can see the BMW and the Merc are very close to each other. So they're both sort of in focus. It's slightly blurry. It's not the best because it'll always pick yeah, that's it's actually it's done, it's done pretty well but on occasion it's doesn't work sometimes but then you could go back to at car so then again it'll focus on that car and it'll make everything else around it blurry or motion blur or out of out of focus if you've got it and then you've got your stuff like your exposure which is all self-explanatory the basically the brightness of it again no expert uh then we'll go to static now if you want to get a shot and keep the motion blur on it so i want to get this bmw i'll pause it there right we've got the bmw coming down here i want to now now you've got to keep it in at car aim at car to get the shot with the motion blur so get it lined up with where you want it to be so i want to be here get them cars in the background there we go 
So there we go. We're looking at uh, Felix's car. Got the cars in the background, all looking lovely. Now, if I switch that after picking the position in the at car bit, if I go to static, now this is where I can put jaunty angles. Now, if I go one forward, this will make these cars really blurry because you've got motion blur on and you've changed the aim type. So if I go one forward, it's working. Okay. Sometimes stuff changes, so that might have changed. Hopefully, it's changed. But sometimes, sometimes some of the stuff on the camera thing works, and then sometimes it don't work. But yeah, if you go into static, static is where you can now twist the camera. You can tilt the camera up and down. Uh, you can also, in the at car view, tilt the camera up and down, so you can see the vanish Y moves the camera up and down. And then uh, Vantage X uh, moves it left and right. So we've got his car. We'll uh, try and speed this up a bit because I'm jabbering on. So there's his car. We've got uh, Motion Blur. We've got a Merc Ryan behind us. It's I, I quite like that shot. Uh, I want to put it at a jaunty angle. Uh, we'll just come back round. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, that's looking a beautiful. There we go. We've just got there's the Mila car. You got the Merc in the background. Uh, and to get uh, that's another thing that just reminds me. So if you've got a barrier like that in the way of your beautiful shot, near plane, uh, bias, bias, whatever, near plane. Just remember near plane. This will evaporate stuff basically. So if you move this, look, there's a barrier going. But if you go too far, there you go. He's lost his legs, but it'll be fine. Trust me. I know from experience. So there we go. We've got a shot. Now this is where I move on to my tool that I use. And that tool is a program called iRacing Screenshot Tool. I will link this in the description where you can go and download it. But this is a tool I use to take screenshots. So as you can see, you've got all the resolutions. What you'd pro probably need. But not only that. If you go into the settings, click there, you can create custom uh, image sizes. So you can type whatever you want in there uh, and whatever resolution. Obviously, you've got your folder select. Fight. I'll fight you. Uh, and the screenshot keybind. So obviously, the button you press to take the screenshot. But yeah, there's a good little tool there. Uh, I don't play about with this. I'm, I'm no good with stuff like reshade, but possibly in the future, I don't know. But yeah, there we go. So it's a simple tool. And obviously, when you take a screenshot, don't be freaked out, but it makes your game, if you've got multiple monitors or widescreen or whatever, it'll for a few seconds, the game will span across all your monitors while it takes that screenshot at that whatever resolution. So we'll go back to the game. Uh, we'll get rid of that. So here's my screenshot. I press my button. My screen goes massive for a second. There you go. It goes straight back. Takes the screenshot. Give it a few seconds while it uh, loads it all in. And there you go. There's a screenshot. That. I really, I, I quite I really like that screenshot, actually. Uh, so there you go. There's your screenshot. Simple tool. Uh, you just launch it when you launch iRacing. Pick a button to take the screenshot. Whenever you're in sim, just press that button. It'll take the screenshot. No matter what camera you're in, you could be in race. If you if you're in race and you press it, you're not going to see for a few seconds. As you can see, it made the screen massive, so you'll be blind for a few seconds. So if I see anyone crash after they've gone, oh, I downloaded that screenshot tool. I know why. And you can crop the watermark, so the eye racing watermark. All it does is literally just chop the bottom off, which I don't mind the eye racing watermark. You could chop that off after. So that's how I get my screenshots. Like I said, nothing special. I take inspiration from real photos. You can see I've done tree shots before behind the trees and stuff like that. Uh, and basically positioning the camera in places where you'd expect a cameraman to be stood. Obviously, I do do a couple of screenshots where I'm sat in the middle of the track or sat in a weird position. But yeah, I tend to go for... I just it's just inspiration. I like looking at racing photos. So that's a good way of doing it. 
uh all i do after that once i get my photos done so i use paint.net uh it's basically a free community photo shop and all i do so if i open this folder and get this photo put it in here i open it up and i literally just i've got a a, a, a hell of a lot of color presets and See, normally, I normally just jump into the colour presets because there's some really good ones in there. And look at that. How the colour and everything just changes that image. So we'll apply this one. Get off the track, man. Your car's dead. I'm sorry. Uh, as you can see, it's changed the look of that uh, picture quite a lot through that colour preset. And then there's other arty-farty ones and stuff like that. But that is basically it. That's how I get my screenshots. Uh, if you've got any questions, please don't be afraid to put them in the comment section below. Also, I'm hijacking this a bit, but I'm in Matt Malone's Discord. As obviously, a lot of people know me from taking his screenshots and just annoying him. I apologise. I just enjoy racing, and I enjoy racing as a community. So, I do apologise. But, yeah. Uh, if you've got any questions, don't be afraid to DM me or anything like that. Uh, put it in the comment section below. I've got a Flickr account where I post all my photos. I also post them more, basically all of them in Matt Malone's Discord as well in the screenshot screenshot section. Um, I pop them in there so you can talk to me. Talk to me whenever, just not when I'm having a poo. <laughs> so, as you can see. That's the way I get my screenshots. I, I'm not, I'm not the wizard, but I do like, I just like telling a story with a picture. And to make sure, just check all the links uh, below for the like the iRacing screenshots tool. Uh, I'll put my Flickr account down there as well, so you can go and have a look at all the screenshots I've done. Uh, and then also I'll. Uh, Put any other links I can think of after I've recorded this video. So, thanks again for watching this little video. If you've got any questions, Discord, uh, description below, comment section below. And I'll thank you, and I'll see you again. Ciao, ciao. Bye, 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 bye. Mm, bye.